I've been waiting for you, Mr. Winters. How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. A hero searching for his daughter. Though I must say, that castle arouses suspicion. Yeah, and so do you. <laughs> I am but a humble merchant. Here? Oh, forgive my manners. Call me the Duke. Now to business. Weapons, ammunition, healing salves, anything you desire, I can provide. Ah, yes, yes. I've prepared a special present for you. I hope this one makes itself useful. Oh, we meet again. Duke, why are you here? Where there's coin to be made. <clears throat> and have you found your daughter? No. If she is truly here, the lady of the castle would have kept little Rose in her private chambers, would she not? Dalmitresque? The very same. Why don't you take a look? Maybe you'll get lucky. And speaking of looking, care to make a purchase? Shall I choose something for you? Your coin. Mm -hmm. As always, a trustworthy, fair exchange. A good deal, if I say so myself. It's a pleasure to see you safe. How were things? No sign of Rose. I'm so sorry it turned out that way. Well, you'll find your way to her once you're out of this castle. Do you have need of anything for the road ahead? Seeking something in particular? I'm buying this because of our relationship, you know. I've gotten some new stock. Do let me know if you find anything else of value. What are you buying? <laughs> Just something an old friend of mine used to say. There you are. I had a feeling you would pop up here. It was all worthless. Is that so? I assume you've picked up something of value. Not sure if it's of value, but... Why, you have your daughter right in your own hands. What are you saying? Take a closer look. That flask seems to contain her head. No. What? Rose is... Don't say another word! This... This is impossible! This just can't be! Your daughter's essence is still intact. Her powers are truly unique. Who... Who could even do this? She can be saved, you know. Saved? From this? Are you insane? There's a house with a red chimney on the western side of the village. Go and seek out the man who lives there. Then we can continue our conversation. Quit holding out and get to the damn point! You don't have to trust my words. But do you have any better options? Your choice. The customer is always right. After all. He'll pay you if I find out this is a lie. <laughs> Fucking joker. Oh, Lady Dimitrescu. Beautiful even in death. That waistline, yes. Ooh, where did you get your hands on such a thing? I look forward to seeing the fruits of your exploration. Does this look familiar to you? Oh, 
Oh, you've brought in something special. Dissatisfied? I believe this is a fair price. We've gathered all the ingredients. Now. Apologies for the wait. Here's your share. Not a bad dish. Ah, oh, <laughs> my apologies. Please do take a look at my new stock. I can hardly wait for the next ingredients. How was it? Did you learn anything? I found these feathers. Now tell me how to fix this like you said you would. Settle down. First you must use that key and collect all of your little roses flasks. Where are the rest of them? There are four in total. You have the one, and the other lords have the rest. Lords? Mother Miranda is the cold, calculating ruler of this village. Four lords serve under her. The first you've already met, the Lady Demitresque. The second lives deep in a valley of mist, the dollmaker, Donna Beneviento. None of her playmates have ever come back from that dank old estate. The third is Moreau, a being of twisted flesh that lives in the reservoir past the windmills. It is said that he is not the only monster that lives in those waters. The fourth and most dangerous is Heisenberg. He works in his factory on the village outskirts. And the project. Let's just say parts of the human imagination are better left alone. If you truly wish to save your daughter, you must first gather the four flasks. I'll do you a personal favor. I've marked the Lord's locations on your map. Some treasures still lurk in this village. I'm sure each one will prove of great use to you. Why are you doing all this? Why, it's all part of our first-class customer service. Please do come again soon. Très bien. It's my greatest pleasure to see you return alive. You will part with this? No, no, I'm more than happy to purchase it. Oh my, it won't fit in your bag. At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. Take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. 
<sighs> yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who or what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah, I have to be. 